आफ्टरनून मैडम गुड आफ्टरनून मैडम गुड आफ्टरनून मैडम ओके नाना गुड आफ्टरनून कॉल रिकॉल द लास्ट क्लास सेंटेंस व्हाट एम आई सेइंग what are they coming for they haven't been here for ages who said this sentence who told this dialogue sir ka sep villandarni unmute lone unchandi sir tarvata mana mute lo maarudam ah oga madam na mere unmute cheskoni maatladani madam अनुप्रिया Who said these words, Nana? What are they coming for? They haven't been here for ages. The TV object. Victoria, ma. Victoria. Is it right, Ramya Sri? Ramya Sri. Victoria is the right answer or wrong? Right, madam. Yes, madam. Victoria said these words. Anupriya, B M Ramya, Superb. And here in this sentence, who are they referred? Who are they referred? Bhavani. Who are they coming for? This line is said by the Victoria, na? Then who are they in that line? Victoria daughter madam in the sentence victoria said what are they coming for they haven't been here for ages huh? who are they here in sentence mrs slater madam mrs slater madam pujita Again, we came back to our lesson. 
after they are departed okay. now we are in the part of dear departed we completed dear departed one and we are now in dear departed two the dear departed was written by William Stanley. William Stanley. William Stanley. William Stanley. Hotel. It is an example for the one act play. And William Stanley Hotel in this lesson, especially written about the situations which are held in the middle class family of Britishers. Here the total lesson is a satirical comedy. Why? Because here. Family, total family gave the preference to the only money or property part of their to be spent. They doesn't even just to show concern to their father. So here William Stanley Horton total lesson criticizes the middle class family of the British, and so here he shows the degradation of the values. Here these are the characters of our lesson. Amelia Slater and Elizabeth Slater, and Henry Slater and Ben Jordan are the husbands of Amelia and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. and Victoria is the daughter of Amelia and Henry, and Abel Murray Weather is the father for Amelia and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. It is uh, from one book. Our overall goal is to make use of this money. We will go on to the our part. Here, first, this is the first scene. First, Elizabeth, uh, sorry, first, uh, Amelia said to the Victoria, it's hard to change your dress. Why? Because your grandpa was dead. This is the starting point of our lesson. Then she has to tell to her uh, husband that we want to change. This. What they want to change the thing, Nana, from their room to their uh, um, father's room. Bureau, madam. Yes, Bureau. very good. Bureau. They want the Bureau. Bureau. Old one. Then they have to uh, stole in these slippers also. Then they bring the clock also. Okay. The clock and the slippers are stolen by the which family? Is later yeah. family. Later family. Later family. Yes. Family. After, after Ben Jordan and Mrs. Elizabeth enter the scene. Then they are discussing about their insurance money, and then after they want to part partition their property. Then they want to say that I want taken that golden watch which belongs to our father. Why? Because our father said that the Jordan was very fond of our father, so he gave that golden watch to my husband. Like that, they are all totally discussed about their property, and they never. Taken care of their father. Then, for seeing the papers which is present in the bureau, they sent the Victoria to the grandfather's room to take in the bunch of the keys. And the Victoria said that grandpa is getting up. Grandpa is getting up. Then the grandpa is come into the scene. Then after. Here, Elizabeth. Oh, father, is that really you? We are really happy to see you like that. They have to exchange the dialogue. Here, the father tell that is yes, I'm absolutely all right. Just had a bit of headache that day. But why? Where is my slippers, Amelia? Like that. Here, the father asked about the slippers, and he see the slippers is in the. You ever call it? Come to me. Henry. Henry. Then he shocked. Then the Amelia just uh, uh, said that father actually I found your slippers are new and hard. I asked Henry to wear them so that they can be stretched like that they cover up. Then here the grandpa asked that why you are all in the morning dress and then they want to cover up. Up to here we completed our lesson. Yes. It's mine. It's mine. Yes. Now we want to continue from there. See, Grandpa then asked her, "Why, why are all in your morning dress? Is there any dead in our family? Who is a who is that dead person? Like that, the conversation is going on between the Ben, Abel, and Slater Jordan. Here, Ben to Mrs. Slater, damn it, I never had one. Why? Because Slater said that the 
brother of brother of whose brother died nana and so then he said that henry kaadu ben ben wal anne san poyadu clater yes ma'am so here ben went to the clater nana never had one i never had any brother to me the nebel here and what was his name is is the person who was died in this situation who was died yes <laughs> mom your voice is not clear madam okay madam some disturbance is coming here disturbance is there na disturbance is coming from students madam then you have to mute it yourself nana all of you go just one two members are in unmute then go all of you go in the mute here said asked by the abel what was the name of his uh, dead person ben said that here here he crosses to front of table here here means he just he confused why because it is exclamation just immediately he want to tell the lies so there was a no name to said ready made it to the ben it's a slater right side of table prompting frederick and mrs jordan left side of the table prompting albert and to the ben from the right side later and from the left side do then they given to him into the bed one is a friendly another one why because here mrs later and mrs jordan are too cunning enough so they said the names immediately and ben said that air fred all is stuck just a confusion just manam sadanga abaddam cheppali ante it is not easy to us alandi time lo first class thada padtam kada like that here ben also in a confusion mode said is stuck abel is stuck and where did your brother is stuck died after telling the name abel just taking the information about the this person where did your brother stuck died ben said that in australia abel rising well i suppose you have only been waiting for me to begin the i am feeling hungry so after wake up abel also feel so hungry and he confused oh, just ma please all of you mute yourself ma it creates some distance for pain and abel feels that my children are waiting for me for tea but here abel's children are not like that they are only discussing about their property then how can they waiting for the tea for for the father wal father ko some tea gurinchi wait chese anta manchi manasu appudu vala dekka ever dekka ledu they are so cunning just they are discussing about their property and the insurance and belongings to the Ben, but here Ben thought that they are all waiting for his to begin tea. Then after Mrs. Slater taking up the kettle and said, "Okay, I will make tea for all of us." Abel said that, "Come along now, sit you down, and let's be jolly." Okay, come on, come and sit there, and we want to discuss here and there, and we want to be jolly like that. He said, "Abel sits at the head of the table, facing spectators." spectators means here this is an example for the drama is yes? one act play one act play is played in the stage so here abel sits to the face to the spectators spectators means person or people who watches the show or event and manushulki kanipinche laga face petti kuchunnadu anamata like that he sits to the opposite to us next abel suddenly recollecting hey amelia and henry what the devil did you mean by shifting my bureau out of my bedroom henry and so later or speechless do you hear me henry amelia abel suddenly saw that the you see in the slide itself they both the bureau and the 
go through all of the room only yes in the hall only then the abel got that bureau and asked to the emily and henry what did you do i can't understand why you shifted my bureau out of my bedroom like that the abel asked and henry and mrs slater are speechless means there are no words to speak akkada vallu ventane cover cheskodaniki em cheppalo vallaki maatalu raaledu they are speechless there are no words to cover them do you hear me here the henry and slater has no words they didn't reply to the abel so again abel asked are you hearing me then why are you given answer to me henry amelia mrs jordan said what bureau was that father mrs jordan asked to the abel what bureau was that what are you talking about the bureau which bureau abel why my bureau the one i bought vera bureau gurinchi ta nen entu padutanu why asking the another bureau the bureau which was i bought that is my bureau mrs jordan pointing to the bureau was is the one for the pointing to the bureau means to showing that bureau with the finger of the mrs jordan and asked that whatever you had to say that the bureau was which one for the like mrs jordan asked to the abel abel said yeah that's it what's it doing there eh? here what what's it doing there means what happened totally our slater and henry bring it that here it passed the clock on the mantelpiece strikes to six everyone looks at it not only the bureau our slater bring clock also mantelpiece means he has seen anna in our slide mantelpiece means the an uh, thing which is on the fire which is made by the wood or iron which is placed on or around the fire is known as the mantelpiece andru a bureau chustunnapudu when all seeing at the bureau at the same time the clock which is on the which is on the mantelpiece yes mantelpiece strikes six everyone looks at it rat me if that is not my clock too what the devil has been going in this house a slight path what happens in this house why are you doing like this why you bring my bureau to the hall and again the watch also what happens i want to know like that the then ask to the slater's family then well i will be hanged this is not right what happens in this house is not to be supposed to be ee rite jarigindo ad ela jaragakoddu that means the ben family the ben and mrs jordan ben has a clear cut idea of that bureau and the clock they cleared about that they are stolen by the slaters mrs jordan rising mrs jordan and ben are also very cunning fellows so here they have very angry about that things they have a clear cut idea name what they ఇందులో కూడా మాకు పార్టిషన్ ఇవ్వాల్సి ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మీరు ముందే దీన్ని దొంగలించి ఉంచుకున్నారు అన్న విషయం అయితే ఇట్స్ వెరీ క్లియర్ టు ది జోర్డెన్ ఫ్యామిలీ దెన్ మిసెస్ జోర్డెన్ రైజింగ్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ వాట్ బీన్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హౌస్ ఫాదర్ నథింగ్ షార్ట్ ఆఫ్ రాబరీ హియర్ మిసెస్ జోర్డెన్ సెట్ దట్ ఫుల్ ఫాదర్ వాట్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ హౌస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ here nothing short of robbery nothing short means just equal to the robbery here the stolen things by your daughter and your son in law mrs slater be quite eligible mrs slater wants to cover mrs jordan i will not be quiet oh i call it a double faced it means it, this is a dishonest i will not be quiet how can be mrs jordan be quiet already there is a big quarrel between the mrs slater and mrs jordan and he here it is the advantage to the mrs jordan to show her father here mrs slater is a waste fellow so this is a golden opportunity to mrs jordan to show up the mrs slater's dishonest double facedness then henry now now elizabeth just he want to tell something 
by Henry, then Mrs. Jordan, and you too. Are you such a poor creator that you must do every dirty thing she tells you? And you also be the dishonest person. And you are a waste fellow, which was tell by your wife was just blindly followed by you. Whatever the Plato said, don't you have mind? Don't you think about that? Is it right or wrong? Just you follow the words of the Henry. So you are also the double-faced person like that Mrs. Jordan told to the Henry. Then Abel rising, thumping the table. Damn it all. Will someone tell me what been going on? Here, Abel doesn't know anything. Why? Because here they are all come to join there for the death of the Abel. So, here, Abel don't know anything. So, he asked, what happens in this home? Please, someone tell me, at least what happened, what is going on in this situation like that, Abel asked. Then, Mrs. Jordan said that, yes, I will. I will not see you robbed. Yes, Father, I want to explain each and everything for you. Why? Because I am not see you robbed. I never So, I have to Tell, I have to explain each and everything which has happened in this home. Abel, who has been robbing me? Who robbed me, ma? Like that, Abel asked. Mrs. Jordan replied, Amelia and Henry. Amelia and Henry robbed you, dad. They have stolen your clock and bureau, working herself up. Working up means, phrasal verb, add something to improve. Nana, yesterday I sent one video to you about the phrasal verbs. Are you watching? Yes, are you watched? If you watch it means just thumbs up. Very good. The combination of the preposition and the combination of the preposition and Verb is known as the phrasal verb. Here, working up means the meaning is adding something to improve. Okay. something to improve. They have to add something. Means here, they have to add your property to improve themselves. They sneak into your room. They sneak into your room mm -hmm. like thieves in the night and stole them after you were dead. After you were dead, they just entered into your room like a thieves and they stole in your bureau and clock. These words are said by the Jordan to the Abel. Henry and Mrs. Slater, shh, quite Elizabeth, they want to stop for the Elizabeth. But Mrs. Jordan, I will not be stopped. After you were dead, I say, after you were dead, I say, I will never be stopped. What has happened in the house, I want to tell Abel. After who was dead? Here, Abel doesn't know, na? though. So, here, ask her, after who was dead, Mrs. Jordan, you, Abel. But I am not dead, Mrs. Jordan. No, but they thought you were. But they thought you were means, but they thought you were dead. It was Abel gases round at them. Abel. Oh, ho. so that's why you are all in black today. You thought I was dead. He chuckles. That was a big mistake. He sits and resumes his tea. Here. No, the total situation was understood by the Abel. Here, he clearly thought that, okay, now I can understand why you are all in black dress because you are thought that I am dead. So, that was a big mistake. Then again, he wants to continue his tea. Mr. Slater, so the father, Abel, it didn't take you long to start dividing my things between you. I will tell you what I am going to do. Here, I will uh, understand the total situation which was happened in that home after they thought that he was dead. And he said that, just, he said that, okay, 
you are all thinking that i am dead but there is no you doesn't take any even a long time to start mm-hmm. dividing my thoughts between you here all are confused fellows not only the slater jordan also why because you are all just dividing my property you are not bothered me i will tell you what i am going to do since your mother died i have lived part of the time with you emilia and part of with you lizzy here after died of the mother see abel in his life they want to spend some time with the family 